Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. I strongly support the separation of church and state. No! <laughs> Don't freak out on me. I'm talking about the healthy historical separation, not the unhealthy modern one. Hmm. Consider this. Marriage is being redefined. Christian people who disagree are being punished. You've heard about the wedding photographer and wedding cake creator being dragged to the authorities. The photographer was fined. The government told the cake baker to go to re-education classes. He refused, and rightly so. Nonprofits that support God's timeless design for marriage are being challenged over their tax status. The government will then decide what's acceptable to preach and to believe and to live. Now, the same people you hear arguing for the unhealthy separation of church and state are actually supporting this, which is amusing since they would have the state intrude on the church, decide what's acceptable, and punish those who disagree with government orthodoxy. Exactly what kind of separation is that? James Madison wrote about the importance of keeping government out of religion. The rulers who are guilty of such an encroachment exceed the commission from which they derive their authority and are tyrants. The people who submit to it are governed by laws made neither by themselves nor by an authority derived from them and are slaves. That seems like a fairly strong opinion. Listen to Thomas Jefferson's act for establishing religious freedom. Almighty God hath created the mind free. All attempts to influence it by temporal punishments or burdens or by civil incapacitations tend only to beget habits of hypocrisy and meanness and are a departure from the plan of the holy author of our religion. So government must stay out of religion because it's a right from Almighty God. And the application of that means rejecting every effort to redefine marriage.